Hello again everyone, Conius here. Today I'm flying from Corpus Christi, Texas to Palicios, Texas. I'm flying a Beechcraft 350i King Air. I've set a flight level of 1800 feet. And let's go ahead and get started. wind there. Still tricky staying perfectly straight on the runway. Alright, here we go. We're starting to bounce off the runway. Landing gear up. So we get a little higher, and then I'll bring the flaps up. I will contact you next when you leave my airspace. Corpus Tower KH343, continue for east departure. Alright, and let's get on course. Alright, I'll straighten out a bit, get those lines to line up on the compass. And I'm going to kind of level off now because I don't want to go any higher. It's about the flight level I wanted. So, just level off. Um, still need to get those lines to line up. So we're going to be flying along the coast of the Gulf of Mexico. I've never been here myself. The weather looks beautiful. I think it's going to be very interesting to see what's there. Digitally, of course. Corpus Tower KH343 frequency change. Corpus Approach KH343 is type of aircraft carrier three miles north of Kilo Gulf Whiskey 1900. Seem to be budget. Request clearance to transition Charlie airspace. Turn a bit. Let's see if I can get those to line up. Maybe I'm going in the wrong direction. Squawk 0774KH343. Alright, well, let me turn. Maybe I need to go the other direction to get those to line up. Exactly clear to me. Although it makes sense point the airplane to back towards the line. That would explain why I wasn't getting anywhere with it. Cleared through the Charlie airspace KH343. Okay, so I've climbed quite a bit. I didn't really want to do that, so start heading back down, drop throttle a bit. KH343 contact Corpus Approach on 120.9er. 120.9er KH343. Corpus Approach KH343, 3000 feet. KH343 Corpus Approach, continue as planned. Altimeter 30.19. Okay, now are these lines lining up? It's kind of hard to tell. I really can't tell if I'm going in the right direction to get back on course. <laughs> this doesn't seem to be getting them any closer. Just turn and head right into the line to see if I can find if it's making a difference or not. Almost kind of seems like it's getting closer, so I think we're doing the right thing. Alright, yep, they're starting to converge now. I'll start making my turn into the correct heading.
Also not trying to drop altitude too quickly. Okay, the weather's starting to look a little mixed. That's all right. Could make the flight interesting. Just adjusted the barometer so that changed our current altitude. And okay, somehow I've gotten off course again. Turn must have been too wide. All I was trying to do was just turn into the heading and I got way off course again. So they're converging again. I'll just go ahead and turn now and let's just hope that we can get back on course. I'm not really sure why this was so hard. I haven't had this problem before, but usually I let the autopilot handle all of it. I'm trying to get on course first before turning it over to the autopilot. Still not exactly where I, went. I need to be. And we're going up again, so let's drop in altitude. I want it to be low enough to see what it looks like here, uh, going up the coast. Alright, I think we're good enough to turn on um, navigation autopilot. So that should take care of heading. <laughs> um, I really would like the altitude to be lower, so let's set a target of 1,800 feet again. Like level change. Drop throttle. Close off the ground. Landing here. Landing here. Landing here. <laughs> Alright, well, maybe I should set a higher target. Landing here. Landing here. Landing here. Landing here. Landing here. Landing here. I'll do 2200 maybe. Landing here. Landing here. Landing here. Landing here. Landing here. Landing here. Alright, give us some throttle so it can. Head up. All right, so uh, restart target We're on course. Let's go ahead and go outside. Look around a little bit. Oh, I see a rainbow. Wow. Um, I had no idea that was possible. That's kind of amazing. I'm a little blown away by that. I want to see what it looks like out the window. And you're just sitting in the plane and, whoa, there is a rainbow right out there out the window. It's very pretty. <laughs> uh, it's prettier outside. I feel compelled to go explore the rainbow and see if it acts like a real one where you can never actually get to it. So let's um, stay connected to the plane, but I will set the drone speed at 100%. Oh, and I guess I did switch to the drone. Yes. Alright, so there's the rainbow. Let's go, let's go check this thing out should just, you know, move. Yep, there it goes. So this actually lets you compose a picture putting the rainbow wherever you want it to be. Interesting. That's pretty.
Uh, what, are, what would it take to get a double rainbow, I wonder? Oh, I do see a double rainbow. There is one already, okay. Wow. Interesting, okay. <laughs> well, anyway, let's go back to the plane. I'm still kind of amazed by the rainbow. Alright, but I am also interested in what the coastline looks like, so let's go back outside. Okay, now I'm going to switch joystick orientation. Not sure what town this is down here. It's pretty. I'm not sure what to look at. I feel like if there were fewer clouds, it might be a little more sparkly and interesting. I might be able to get a view. Um, oops, uh oh, I remember when I got the joystick that the, uh, only use the right joystick unless you're controlling the plane. Let me make sure autopilot is still engaged because if you do enough of that, it'll auto disengage. Okay, good. So what I was trying to do is change altitude. I need the drone for that purpose. So let's reset the drone. I wanted to see if I could get some sunlight reflecting off of some of the water so it doesn't look so stormy. You know, make it look interesting in some way. Uh, I need to set the speed each time though. I should go change the default, I think. Oh, yeah, there's no oh, there's a sun. Okay, so there might be something to reflect off of. I go over this direction, maybe. Okay, that's starting to look a bit more interesting. I'm 
not really getting a reflection. Again, I think clouds are in the way or something. <laughs> we'll go ahead and check this ground out as we go along. Uh, just looks like random rural, almost like the AI just drew a bunch of random road lines or something. Doesn't even really look real, but I suppose it's supposed to be based on satellite photos, so I suppose it's real. Looks a little third world. Um, yeah, the weather's definitely mixed. Now we're getting into some more sunlight. So what's this stuff on the ground? I guess bay hails. I mean, <laughs> hay bales. Um, that looks like a legit road. So I don't know what these little... This must be paths or something. All right, looks like we may be about to be over going over water, so I'm going to return back. Also, inside you have to be careful to only use the right joystick. Uh, the left joystick is basically your flight stick. KH343, you are leaving my airspace radar service terminated. Squawk 1200. Frequency change approved. No more sign of Squawk 1200. the rainbow. Frequency change approved, KH343. Interesting to see from the outside. Reset the view. I'm seeing a little bit of a rainbow down, down here, down right below the airplane. I actually see it even looking straight down. I've never seen a rainbow from a plane, but I assume it would be a full circle. There's no reason why it wouldn't be. Okay, then we've got over on the left side again. I'm just fascinated by uh, this rainbow. Let's see if I could do a close-up or something. Uh, down the doorstep. Oh, that's nice. Maybe that should be the thumbnail. Maybe I can spruce up. Up the saturation on the color so they can stay there. Let's see if I can find what would be the best view. It's not bad. Kind of disappears a little bit. Alright, well, anyway, enough of building with the rainbow. It's kind of silly.
love all the waterways. It'd be fun to come down here. And I don't know if you can jet ski on that or just get out in the water. I'm guessing it's on the warm side compared to like, the coasts. Okay, so our altitude looks good. We don't have to change this, I think, for landing. Speed looks good. At some point, I do want to slow down and get ready for landing. I've never heard of Palacio, Texas before, but it's on the way towards Galveston. I was originally going to fly directly, but it's just too long of a flight, so I decided to split it. Clouds dialed back from ultra back to high, possibly. I'm trying to keep the frame rate above 30. So they could be a little better, probably. Oh, this looks so beautiful out here. Very pretty. I bet the water is not very deep. Okay, so we're going forward about three times the speed of the airplane. We could actually beat it to the airport and then look back on it coming in for the landing. I uh, can't really see it if you look up. Uh, I suppose if it was night I could actually see the strobe light and be able to find it. <laughs> Alright, anyway, I'm going to go back to the plane. Pilot's about to contact them to start the landing. I'm going to take Kilo over for Alpha Pilot. X-ray traffic KH3431 miles southwest, 2,300 feet inbound to land runway 8. Turn off autopilot. Alright, so where is this landing pad? I'm going to go turn and enter on our left side. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, throttle down a bit going a little fast, burn off some of that going on this turn, and then I'm going to get myself situated to enter that landing pattern. It's kind of hard to know what direction or where exactly the opening is going to be in advance. I don't know how, how to actually tell, uh, but it's not a problem to turn around. I'm going too fast, I'm going to drop throttle some more. Okay, 
let's continue our turn. I'm just kind of guessing where the opening's going to be. Uh, I think over time you'll tend to get a sense for the three-dimensional space, but I still tend to overshoot or undershoot, so we'll see. Maybe I can see it if, yeah, not really. Alright, well I think if I turn some more I'll get an idea of where it is. I have no idea. Uh, we've dropped way in altitude actually, so we might need to go up. I just don't see the landing approach anywhere. Okay, more throttle. Let's get some altitude again. I think it's still towards the right. See that tag on the screen? I think that means that it's over towards the right. So let's keep turning. There it is. Okay, so we still need to make it over there into the over to the entrance. So I think that what happened there was I um, I thought I was turning more degrees than I actually was, and so I think if I'm going to do a turn, I should actually look at the bearing and then count off the degrees and make sure I'm turning as much as I think I am. We need another, you know, another 90 degrees or something. Plus, I need to go further to get towards the opening. That marker on the screen can serve as a guide, but you don't really see it. I guess I s maybe there was a miniature version of it on the screen that I could have been paying attention to, a little arrow or something. <coughs> Sure. <coughs> there was one for the airport itself. I don't know if there was one for the pattern entry. Alright, so I'm going to climb a little bit, burn off some altitude as we head over towards this. I'll have to get rid of that altitude, but that shouldn't be a problem. Okay, we're still approaching the entry. I'll have to make a sharp turn into it. I'm going to just throttle gear. some more. Landing gear, yes, that would probably be a good idea. That will help reduce the speed. Alright, so I look to the right. Okay, yeah, we're still not quite there yet. <coughs> Spread off some speed. Now I can put the flaps down, at least part way. Okay, how close are we getting? We're getting pretty close. Is it just a straight in? Yeah, it looks like it's a straight in. So I'm going to climb just a little bit more and start turning. Apparently we did need to climb, or a little low. Um, it's probably okay to be low. Probably won't give me a warning if I'm just below the brackets. It does if you're too high. Okay, I think we're doing good speed-wise. I will drop flap some more once we stabilize into the pattern. I feel like I could nose up, burn off a little bit more of the speed ahead of uh, putting the flaps down all the way. Alright, so now they're going down all the way. Um, 
going to give it some thrust because we don't want to stall. We're getting a little s too slow now. Probably drops out a little bit. Watch our speed and just f follow it down into the landing. So I'm going to keep it centered and straight, flat and just make sure I don't let the speed get too low. Landing gear are down. throttle just a little bit more because I feel like we're starting to gain some speed as we follow the angle down. I see that RA counter right above the compass on the I'm wondering if that maybe means a radar altitude above ground, because it seems like it's trying to be really accurate. I'm trying to figure out what that stands for. Now I can't tell if there's another turn. Oh no, I see the runway. Okay, it's just a little hard to see, that's all. Yeah, too fast. Alright, de-throttle almost all the way. Let it get down a bit. Uh, a little higher so we can ride on, we can glide on that for a bit here. Palacios Municipal, right out here in the middle of the Gulf of Mexico along this pretty coast. Okay, I think I'm starting to encounter some wind ground effects. Starting to be a little harder to keep things stable here. Uh, speed looks good. Uh, so we'll just keep on this glide path down to the runway. This should be good. I'm just going to focus on keeping it stable and not going too slow. I hear some wind affecting the engines. I feel like I need to give it a bit more thrust because we're starting to drop. I thought about getting a yoke. I'm using a stick. I'm having second thoughts of whether that's the right thing to do. Um, stick flying seems to be very convenient and it doesn't require you know, clamping anything to a table. And then I'd have to be able to switch to a stick certain times. So I'm thinking maybe I'll stick with the stick for now. It's working for me. I just put both hands on it when I need stability like in a situation like this. Okay, so we're getting close. I'm going to de-throttle now almost all the way. Actually, yeah, all the way down. Let's see if we could just glide in to a smooth landing. Uh, if we start going too slow, I will push up on the throttle. I think we're okay to just glide into this. don't want to land too early. I'm looking at that white line on the Garmin for my horizon. I think we're going to land right here. Alright. I think this might be <coughs> automated airport. Uh, flaps up. I think we might have landed a little bit in the dirt, but it didn't feel too bad. Kind of hit and bounced a little, so that wasn't bad. Uh, let's see if we can stop. And I will turn towards the right. Or is this another runway? Yes, yeah, this is another runway. Well, Probably look and see that there isn't a plane landing. 
not exactly sure where I'm supposed to go. Side for a moment, <coughs> see if I can get an idea of where I need to go here. Oh, uh, the drone is somewhere else. Alright, that's the work I see somewhere to go. Alright, uh, back inside. There's up here somewhere, there is a, a little right turn. So let's see if I can find that. <coughs> I don't know what's wrong with my voice today. Appropriate taxi speed. Alright, see some yellow lines. I think that indicates that's where to turn. Um, and then I'll attempt to contact ground, but I don't think there's any services. Let's go park wherever we want, but let's give it a shot. Alright, tower, automated, announce, blah blah blah, so... Yep, we just need to go park wherever we want. Back a little bit of an overview here. I'm gonna slow down. Probably park next to one of these planes over here on the right, maybe. <laughs> okay, that truck gonna. Okay. Actually, it looks like there's more space on the left, so I'm gonna go left. And we need to slow down a little. Oh, fuel. Interesting. Alright, we're going to park right here. Park brake. And turn off the plane. Uh, I think. Usually that turns off the plane. Alright, interesting. So, that's not doing it. Let's interrupt her. I think maybe something changed, maybe, uh... Alright, yeah, sometimes it doesn't end, if you, you know, especially maybe if I'm out of sequence with contacting. And I can't contact him now with the radio off. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.